Hey everyone, it's me again. Uh, it's about a week and a half or a little under a week and a half since I came back. Uh, I came back on May 30, Friday, May 31st. I lucked out in that I didn't get any real jet lag. Uh, I slept perfectly well since, so there's that. Uh, I hit the ground running in terms of when I came back. I, I had a lot of stuff to do this week and I have a lot of stuff to do the next few weeks, but I guess that's what happens when you go away for three weeks, right? So my last two days in London, they were a blast. I got to see Spam a lot. Uh, I got to just walk around London, in particular Camden Town, which is my favorite. And I've just been really spending the last the last week or so reflecting on what are some of the key takeaways or what are some of the things that I really have been thinking about in my experience um, having traveled uh, and been away for three weeks, which is a significant amount of time uh, for me at least in my past, I've usually done like a week, a week and a half, maybe two weeks, but three weeks is is, is, sub, is substantive. So a couple things that I, I've just come to realize or, or that I've taken from the trip is that in returning, I really do want to move more, just physically. Uh, I walked, you know, when I look at the numbers, I walked somewhere between nine to, to 12 miles a day on average. There was maybe one or two days where I didn't walk that much, but I mean, I was definitely getting pretty high mileage and my body really enjoyed it. And I noticed that just in how I slept. Uh, I slept very peacefully and, and was, you know, very physically tired by the end of the day, which just sent me right off to, to dream time. I think in the future, I will work more on being prepared uh, for my future trips. And I think that deals more with... Um, if I know I'm visiting particular cities, really get a sense of what their physical, uh, of what their public uh, transportation is, get a sense of how it, how it operates, when it operates, and a sense of where I am and what's close to me. I did that really well when I was in, uh, when, when I was in Paris, I maximized on that a lot, but I think if I had done it ahead of time, I would have had more time to, uh, to go out and see more, just to, to relax. Um, I think there was also there's other things I, I would probably bring you know kind of a, a checklist of basic language tips or, or language just basic you know basic phrase phraseology for each of the places I originally had hoped to use my cell phone in some capacity a lot but I really couldn't because I didn't have the right SIM card and all of that stuff um, and also I, I think in the future I would preload particularly something like my iPad or some kind of electronic with a lot of information whether it's maps whether it's um, you know those the, those language resources and whatnot I didn't do enough of that or I feel if I did I could have gotten more at different times um, what else I, I think just overall despite that I had a lot of movement I think one of the things I also really liked about the, the trip as a whole was the relaxed pace. Um, it was it just it felt relaxed uh, most days. There was a few that were a little stressful or crazy, but uh, it was very relaxed pacing. And I would really like to kind of take that back or find ways of reintegrating that into my life uh, here now that I'm back in the states. But overall, it was it was a it was a wonderful trip. My two weeks in the Netherlands, I learned a lot about the Dutch community college system. I learned a lot about Dutch culture and and really did enjoy it. And then um, my three destination cities: Berlin, Paris, and London. I feel like I got to enjoy the cities. Certainly not all of them because these are cities that are you know centuries old, and you're not going to be able to do it all in in a mere few days. But I was able to enjoy a a substantive aspect or element of the cities. So that's all I have. Um, thank you for those people that have tuned in or have watched these. Uh, I appreciate the audience and I hope you'll continue to follow my writings and other adventures on my blog by anyothernerd.blogspot.com and see you in the future.